how to integrate Square Payments on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate the application or the app of Square App or Square on Shopify and then you can proceed to the payment. It is very simple and self-explanatory. Here you have only to follow up the tutorial to the end and you will face no problem or no issue with the process. So uh, please be uh, patient and follow me till the end of the tutorial. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video are created for the sake of the video and for the sake of the viewers, they are not created for any purpose uh, for uh, personal uses or anything like that such as email addresses addresses phone numbers and uh, like this now all you have to do is to go to Shopify and then you have to set up your store this is the first thing that you have to do then you have to go to squareup.com then you have to uh, sign up for the page uh, of square up it is a uh, very simple it is uh, very easy now, this is squareup.com. All you have to do is to go to your account. Uh, you have to sign up. It is very simple. And you go to the dashboard right here. Now, for the uh, this is the uh, SquareUp dashboard. It will be loading in a few seconds. You can see here, this is the uh, dashboard. Now, let's go back to Shopify. Here, we have in the apps section, you can click on the app section. It will uh, show you the app that we have installed all we have to do is to type square square like this and it will make a search for square here we click on search square in Shopify like this and here we have uh, the uh, app store right there we click on square integration and sync DPL it is uh, the uh, application. I click on install. Then we will be good to go. It will be demanding a authorization for installation. I will click on install and it will be showing on the app section right here. You can uh, go ahead and uh, pin the app like this and you will see the integration right here. Here it will give you a seven days a uh, trial you can go ahead and uh, make a, the seven days trial after putting your information for your debit card or the PayPal account you can approve the payment or you can go ahead and uh, create the account on square dashboard here after you approve you will get the sign up information or sign in information it will guide you to the website next here we have the uh, platform right here the thing that you have to know is that you will uh, list the items that you will have or the products that you have uh, on the square and sync them directly to the uh, products that you have on Shopify what I mean by that is for example when you uh, create a product on Shopify all you have to do is to copy the product information for example like this this is the sweater number one all you have to do is to create quick create like this uh, uh, we will see right here the item name we will put the sweater for example sweater number one copy paste the product like this and then we will go uh, for the information for example and we are good to go now let's go and create an item directly from the item creator now let's put the item name the description is right here I will copy then I will paste the item right here the image we have the green sweater let's go with the green sweater I will search for this green sweater no, I meant the uh, white and gray sweater. This is the white and gray sweater right here. It is uploading. Now, the location is the store, the Jack Smith store. You can categorize this, for example, clothing. You can make or 
uh, it is up to you here for the options you can add the size color material if you have the option for the product right here units and it is uh, per item here the unit cost for example here we have it twelve dollars twelve dollars like this you can add the variation the price for example twelve dollars again and we are good to go you can uh, put the checkout behavior on you can put whatever you want here and then you can save the payment links you can get them square online food pickup and delivery meta it is up to you here this process can be fully automated when you connect your uh, square uh, here you can connect your square uh, application or integration right here when you connect or create a product it will uh, on your Shopify store it will be uh, automatically uh, created right here I have shown you the uh, manual method but if you want to fully automate the process of the buy-in you can uh, send for example use Zaps or Zapier and create an automation process it is very simple I will have to create a uh, account for Zapier then you can sign up with Google and then you click on create you select zap here the trigger number one and the action for example the trigger is from Shopify like this Shopify this is the trigger number one we will choose an event for example let's choose for example from customer account enabled new abandoned cart uh, new blog new blog entry and etc etc here for example let's go ahead and select a, a new order for example from Shopify this trigger will put the action let's choose an integration which is square and you will see the square right here we'll put square and then we will choose the event you can create your own action customize the action or you can go with the preset actions for example uh, here create an invoice create paid order for example um, create order by ID send invoice and etc for my case I will go create paid order and then we click on continue we have to sign up to square right here and it will show up the uh, account I will connect my account really quick here we have to allow and we will be good to go the automation will be set and the uh, continuation can be uh, you can fill all these uh, requests and you are ready to go now these are uh, an automation exterior or external automation you can put or you can choose not to put to for example and you can go ahead and make the payments right here from the square uh, automation that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one